Good day and salutations, my friends. So happy to have you here and see all of your beautiful faces. I hope the start to the spring season has been treating you all kindly. I know for me, it's been a little bit of rainy and yucky, but hopefully soon, clear weather, blue skies, warm, sunny day. Go out, enjoy the lake, get some fresh air. We all deserve it. It was a very long and cold winter, and I hate winter. But anyways, for today's video, we're talking about this one way, this one new method you can use here on YouTube to grow your YouTube stream. And you may have heard of it before, you may not have, but that is YouTube Shorts. Up until the implementation of YouTube Shorts by YouTube, the best way to grow your stream nowadays, a lot of people would say, is through TikTok. Obviously, TikTok, you're scrolling through a sea of short form content, short form being 60 seconds or less. You're just getting those quick hits of funny content, relatable content, whatever it may be. For the audience, it's very engaging, and very fun to go through. And for the creator, it's pretty simple because at most, you're creating a 60 second long video, so not a crazy ton of effort needs to be put into it. And recently, YouTube has released its own form of short form content in YouTube Shorts. And how people would say TikTok can grow your stream, grow your brand just by the sheer discoverability through TikTok, you now have that through YouTube. And in my opinion, discoverability through YouTube Shorts now is better than TikTok is now. Now, this may not have been the case a few months ago when TikTok was super easy to get views, really easy to get followers. However, recently with a change in their algorithm, personally, I feel YouTube Shorts should be now your main focus. Of course, you can repurpose content and post it to both YouTube Shorts and TikTok, which I do. However, in my findings, I get more views on YouTube Shorts than I do TikTok now. And the beauty of YouTube Shorts is it's already on and connected to your YouTube channel, unless you're making a dedicated YouTube Shorts channel, which I wouldn't really recommend, especially if you're a smaller creator like myself, because you want to keep all that traffic right there on your specific main channel. So before, we we're trying to get views on TikTok and follows on TikTok, and then from there, get their attention to go straight to your YouTube channel. YouTube Shorts already has them there on your channel. So that's one less step people have to go through to subscribe and that one extra step sometimes deters people. So it's because of those reasons I started posting YouTube Shorts very consistently. And since doing that and utilizing YouTube Shorts, I have seen tremendous growth on my YouTube channel. In the past 30 days, I've now gained over 100 subscribers and that kind of growth was unthinkable a few months ago. And the great thing about YouTube Shorts is that it's so new. So if you start utilizing this method now, it's going to be far less saturated than it will maybe even a couple months from now. So my advice would be to kind of get into the system now or the algorithm so that way by the time everyone's on the bandwagon, you've already made a name for yourself. Once people see one of your YouTube shorts once and engage with it, they're more likely to have your content pushed to them again. And the more saturated that YouTube shorts becomes, the less likely people are to come across your small channel. So that's why I'm really trying to stress you need to do it now. Before I dive into this further and go deeper into my analytics and show you guys exactly how YouTube Shorts have helped my channel. Some of you might still be wondering what exactly are YouTube Shorts? How do I make one? How do I post one? I don't see an area where it says upload a YouTube Short and that's because technically there isn't one. Really all YouTube Shorts are are creating a video under 60 seconds and making it in a vertical format and then from there uploading it as you would a normal YouTube video and some people say that by putting hashtag shorts in the title and description, it helps your chances of it getting put on that YouTube shorts shelf or it's being pushed out to thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people. But then there's others who say just by using the criteria of under 60 seconds and in a vertical format, then YouTube recognizes it as a short. I personally have stuck to using the hashtag shorts in title and description because I feel like it gives me a better chance of being pushed out onto the YouTube shorts shelf, especially being such a smaller creator in a smaller channel. I feel like it helps my odds just a little bit more against the people who already have made a name for themselves with thousands if not millions of subscribers. So in a nutshell, that's what YouTube Shorts are. Now I can dive into my analytics and show you guys just how much YouTube Shorts have helped my channel. So just going over a brief kind of schedule of how I post Shorts, because I stream here on YouTube, and by streaming, that's the longer form content being put on my channel. And I typically try not to do two big uploads on my channel a day. So on days where I'm streaming, I'll post a short. So I technically have a post that's going to be living on my channel forever. 
because my streams, I unlist them after I'm done with my stream so it doesn't hurt my watch time. And then on days where I don't stream is where I'll post longer videos like this one. I'm also gonna be showing you guys what I meant by YouTube might not actually pick your video up as a short. And there's an easy way to tell if it did get picked up as a short or if it didn't. Now going down here to my very first short, you can see I got 715 views. That right there was a great view number for my channel specifically and for this video specifically looking at it you can see the first day i posted it i got no views on it then the second day i was up to four views and i was kind of thinking ah oh, maybe these shorts aren't a great thing and then of course the third day overnight i woke up to 611 more views on this video and from there i just got a few more over time and typically you already know it got picked up by youtube shorts just by that giant spike in number and just to be sure you can go to this reach tab and down here in your traffic source it'll tell you 95.4 percent of my traffic came through shorts so that again reassures me that youtube shorts did pick up my video and of course you can see how many subscribers you got from this video and from this one in particular i got to which is not an overwhelming number. However, two more subscribers than I would have gotten if I didn't post it. Now, here's an example of a short that I posted that didn't exactly catch fire like the first one did. You can see there's no spike in views over here. Over time, it's gained a few here and there, but really there's no drastic jump like you saw in the first one. And to just confirm that YouTube shorts didn't really pick it up, we go to this reach tab. In our traffic source, we can see YouTube shorts isn't even down to the third option so youtube really deemed this video as not great enough to actually put in that youtube short shelf to where it pushes out to hundreds if not thousands of people so what i'm trying to say is be patient with it not every single video you post is going to be a hit but if it does become one i can show you the kind of effects it can have for your channel i'm going up here to one of my more recent shorts my top warzone fail I ever spectated this one gained me 21,000 views now, that's pretty obvious that that one was definitely picked up by YouTube Shorts. See right here for the first day to almost two days of posting it, I got a little bit of views all the way up to like 92 until it took that huge spike of up to 4,000, 7,000. And then there's another little jump and another little jump until even to this day, I'm still getting a few views here and there. In this video, I posted on TikTok a while back and it did all right on TikTok at that point before the algorithm changed over there. But just by me having this video already created, just reposting it here to YouTube Shorts, it got me seven new subscribers, which for a small channel like myself is fantastic. I mean, we're not out here getting 50 subs a day, seven subscribers from this one video, a 20 second video that I just reposted from another platform. I mean, what else could you ask for? And clicking on this one, you can see again, for the first almost three days, around two days until I had that giant spike where in literally one night, I got 27,000 views in one night. And just confirm it going down to our reach and our traffic source, shorts is 98.7% of the traffic to this video. And from this one video, which again was a repost from TikTok. And this video actually didn't even get me 200 views, I don't believe, on TikTok. I was between two and 300 views posting this video on TikTok forever ago. Reposted it on YouTube Shorts, 27,000 views in one night. 25 new subscribers in one night. From a video that I put time into months ago, just reposted it on here to see how it would perform. Didn't have high hopes because it didn't do well on TikTok. Yet here we are, 27,000 views. 27,000 more views than I had on TikTok, like I said, which is supposed to be your platform of growth. And obviously 25 new subscribers from a less than 60 second video when I only have at the time of filming this, 172 subscribers is a large chunk of my following at the moment. And there's small channels out there that are getting literally hundreds of thousands of views per short that they post. And that's my point is that that could be you. If your video really gets stuck in that YouTube short shelf, there's literally no limit to how fast your channel can grow. So that's why I'm making this video because I feel like it's helped my channel out so much in such a short amount of time 
And really, my numbers don't even do justice of how well YouTube Shorts can perform on your channel, even if you have less than 200 subscribers like I do. And so at the very least, if you're here streaming on YouTube and you don't feel like putting out longer videos like this one that I'm making right now and putting time into those, put time into YouTube Shorts. Take clips from your stream and repost them to YouTube Shorts. Take highlights, fails, whatever it may be from your stream, great talking points that you had of just any anything at all. Just make sure it's less than 60 seconds in a vertical format. I would advise if you're a smaller channel using the hashtag shorts in your title and description and post it to YouTube as if it were a normal video. And to be honest, I, I don't really put a crazy amount of effort into my shorts. And you've already seen the kind of numbers you can get from them, the subscribers you can get from them. And in return from gaining all those new subscribers, I'm getting more and more people, more first timers in my stream every time I go live. With that being said, if you guys have any comments or questions about YouTube shorts or any other ways to grow your stream, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And I do want to remind you guys, I stream right here on this channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 6 30 p.m. Eastern and on and Saturday morning and past all that that's all I have for this one see you next one